Well, hello there. Welcome once more to Controis Kitchen. And if this is your first time stopping by, I'd like to say a very warm akaba to you. So this is an overly overdue collaboration between Cooking with Kitty and myself. She made a one more like almost two months ago. And when I saw it, I really wanted to make a video in collaboration with her and also try that recipe. I have to say, I've made this at home like several times and maybe at least twice since then. I've just not been able to make a video. And so this is a video that I'm making uh, to support Gifty. She's a sister as well. She's doing amazing here. And I'll be very, very happy if after watching this all. In fact, if you would pause from here and go watch what Gifty did with hers and then you come back and watch mine as well. Kindly subscribe to her channel, like her videos, and give her the kind of support you've been giving me. So that was uh, shallots that I sliced and here is salted beef. Actually, this is made with lamb and I made this myself and I used the Nabe's recipe. So this is like a real collaboration collaboration. So you could check the recipe out from the Nabe's kitchen as I haven't made a video of how she made it, you know, myself. But she has a video there that you can make and this is very good. So I'm just cutting up this and that is going to be what is going to go to give a lot of flavor and of course pieces of meat. But, you know, it's a lot of fat It's more for flavor than anything. And this, in the absence of this, you could also use um, bacon. Bacon will do just as well. So here are all the ingredients you will need. And as always, I will also list everything for you in the description box. So yes, very simple meal, but the taste just beyond amazing simple ingredients for a very simple meal and it's just a beautiful beautiful day outside so I thought to bring you out here and hopefully you can hear the birds chirp and see a beautiful colorful day whilst we cook I really, really love to use coconut oil for my braised rice or ahomo, and today is not going to be any exception. So I have in here some virgin coconut oil. I let it melt, and now I'm adding in my sliced shallots. You know, back home in Ghana, when we make ahomo, we say yet or the asantejene ne ye. Asantejene is what we call shallots. So this is like a very typical, typical traditional. Ghanaian meal that I'm making and I'm using the right ingredients. The only difference of course is we are going to use the curry and in Gifty's recipe she used like I told you she used uh, turmeric but curry is also going to give it the same color and I just felt like having curried rice instead of turmeric today but I've tried it with the turmeric and it's just as delicious. It's, it ends up looking the same. They probably have slightly nutritional value because of the spice you know that you are using turmeric versus curry and that is the only difference so in here i'm just going to let my onions cook until they caramelize and that is when it brings a lot lot of flavor back in the day you know like traditionally we will cook it until it is very caramelized and scoop the the onions so we put it on top of the rice when it is uh, partially cooked and because the sellers the street Food sellers would use would do that, you know, make it even more appetizing. That was more like a garnish. So I'm scooping some on on the top now, but I'm going to put it on the rice along the way because I'm just trying to prevent it from burning. And so in here goes now my sliced mutton, yeah, lamb. You know, this is more like lamb anyway. So the, my salted lamb, which is going to bring all that flavor, aroma, the taste everything that you can imagine and just look at that look at all that caramelized shallots and the meat it is fine at this point with all that fat and that is what is going to bring you the deliciousness that gorgeous aroma of angamu that when you just smell it you just want to eat it you just say and that is what i'm doing now and i don't know what it's doing to the neighbors but hey uh-huh yeah this is good. It's going to be very, very good. So 
so I think my meat has fried up a little bit it, it's good enough at this point and here I'm going to add in my curry powder and that is two tablespoons of curry that I've added and like I said you could use turmeric you could use curry either one is gonna be fine you just want this to be yellow and so I've gone inside and washed my rice and I'm going to put my rice in here and guys let me tell you traditionally traditional Ghanaian and one more is really not prepared this way we would have poured some water into the meat and our onions at this point cover let it boil over and then when it boils over you put your rice in but you know these days we like to have our rice toasted so the texture is uh, something that we really like you want your rice to be you know flavorful so we do it this way but most of the time i actually go the, the traditional route add my water boil it over before i do this but we like to somehow toast the rice these days and that is the only difference and just look at that beautiful beautiful gorgeous color this is yellow but it's not going to be bright yellow because i made the onions caramelize a lot more and so it's going to be you know flavor packed very very flavorful and here i'm adding in my water at this point and then i'll give it a stir and then of course you're going to add some salt but let me tell you if you are using cured meat salted beef lamb or whatever you always have to remember it is loaded with salt so you have to be mindful of the amount of salt that you add so i'm just adding about a half a teaspoon of salt in here i previously added the two green peppers these are scorpion peppers from my garden yes i harvested these uh, at the end of the planting season and i just froze them with the stock on because that's how i learned from some friends at work these green peppers when they are not so ripe with the stock on cooked in your rice oh my god the flavor the aroma it brings your rice is gonna be so fragrant you know if you're Ghanaian and you thought bakushito was bringing flavor to your food you don't know anything until you use this kind of pepper this is just beyond amazing so I put back my onions if you saw that and now I, I covered it and it's boiling and this is gonna cook for roughly 25 minutes especially using this cast iron pot it cooks faster it retains all the heat it traps all your heat and it makes your rice cooks even better and easier so I don't even need to put parchment paper plastic aluminum foil whatever you would typically put over your rice to trap the heat to make it cook faster you don't need that and just look at this this is about uh, 15 minutes into the cooking time I came in to check on it and look at this just beautiful beautiful the rice is not all the way cooked it is a little bit still on the hard side but I just need to let the, the little moisture in here and the heat that is going to be trapped in here whilst covered to cook it through and so I let it cook for an extra seven minutes and seven minutes later I came back to check on this and look my rice is fluffy perfectly cooked just beautiful beautiful and ready to be served the aromas huh you really need to be here to smell it the birds are here singing they're trying to say Quanchua, can i have a grain Quanchua, can i have a grain but no birdie you can have the scraps later okay and here just look at that a real and one more experience about to happen the table is set right here on the outside with everything that you could think of having your awamo with. And let just look at that bowl of goodness. Just look at that. Is that making you want to eat it? Uh-huh. I hope it's making you really, really want to try this. Thank you, Gifty. Thank you. Thank you so much for this inspiration. And here we go. Scooping for myself. Everybody else can take care of themselves today because I just want to sit down and enjoy this plate of deliciousness. And you know, like how we do it, omelette, you know, omelette, omelette. <laughs> so chibom, that, that's what we would typically call it. It's always good to have that to represent when you have a good plate of awamo. And that is what we have here. We also have here sister corn beef, aka corner beef representing. We have here some macro, um, sardine. I'm sorry, some sardine because sardine with awamo is like the bomb. We have, of course, our mekoyerawa, that is our red chili salsa. It's just, uh, 
tomatoes, pepper, and onions. And of course, we have our shito, Quanchues kitchen shito, amazing, delicious, also representing. And just a little bit slaw, just freshly sliced vegetables to go with it. The perfect balance to add some texture to this meal. And this boy was well enjoyed. Huh? Let me just get myself some water and then do justice to this food. I really hope this makes you want to try it. This is so delicious. Simple simple meal made to be enjoyed by your family you could serve your guests with this i'm telling you when somebody yeah, comes to you and you say you're serving them a one more they'll know this is different very different so mm. until i come your way next time with something delicious be loving be kind be happy